Is the universe aware? Now that's a good question. How about what is beyond time and space? Another good question. How aware are we? By <coughs> only looking outward, do we miss out on the awareness of life? Are we getting only one-tenth of the picture? It's like going to a movie theater. You watch the movie and get sucked up into it. Have you ever turned around and saw rays of light streaming from the movie projector? Is our life like that? What do they mean when they say, If thy eye be single, the whole body shall be full of light? Does the gateway to God exist within? Has the pearly gates been there all along? Discover your true nature and then tell me your answer. If this life is a game, it's a serious game. Are we dealt cards in our life? Is this a game of poker? How about a game of hide and seek? God lives inside of us, and we seek for him outside of ourselves. This game is so real, we feel pain. Life has so many challenges, it's like they are custom made for us. Nobody gets a free ride. Just ask Jesus and the rest of the gang. They knew the Father, yet the game of life has no favorites. The game goes on. Yet they knew the game is not rigged. In the end, we discover our true nature. We go back home with lessons learned. The definition of adventure is the following. Engage in hazardous and exciting activity especially the exploration of unknown territory. I remember as a kid, I took a yoga class. At that time, yoga was relatively unknown in America. Yoga was around during the late 1800s, yet the majority of the population thought it was on the fringe. It was definitely an unknown territory. This love for adventure took me all over the world. But a surfboard in my hand, a backpack on my back, and a yearning to discover my true nature, I was off. I had quite the adventure. I learned the greatest adventure lied inside. This is truly unknown territory. You can live anywhere and have a simple life, but by exploring your true nature, is the adventure of a lifetime. Lock a person up and put them in solitary confinement and see what happens. The greatest adventure is to tame your mind. That is probably the most difficult thing to do. Mystics have been talking about this for thousands of years. Today, yoga is mainstream. Millions of people practice it. Maybe, maybe something is going on. We are slowly learning more about life.